Well, I'm calling this video Dog Gets Thrown for a Poem, even though technically by judo standards, when I went back and looked at the video, it looks like the dog was probably thrown for maybe a Yuko or possibly even a Wazari. But all kidding aside here, I don't want people to think that I don't care about animals and that, you know, I don't care about the welfare of dogs or things like that. But I want to make one point clear. You have to care about the welfare of people more than the welfare of an animal because you can't really reason with an animal. Just like a lot of other people, when the gorilla Harambe got shot, I was mad. I was like, why did they have to shoot the gorilla? You know, that type of thing. But honestly, deep down inside, I know that when an animal gets into animal mode and it's got its feelings and it's in attack mode, you can't talk to it. When animals get upset, they are just like the Terminator. They can't be bargained with. They can't be reasoned with. They don't feel pity or remorse or fear. And they absolutely will not stop ever until the target is dead or they've gotten what they want. Now, that I can recall as an adult, I've only been attacked twice, or I should have said I've had to use my martial arts training on dogs twice. One time when a dog had gotten on a metro bus, the dog got a hold of a child and would not let go of the child. Maybe the dog was trying to keep warm because it was a winter day. And people were trying to shoo the dog away. They were yelling at it. The dog would not stop smothering the child. The child was panicking, was yelling, and it sounded like the boy was having trouble breathing. So I had to bait the dog away. I grabbed it behind his collar, off balanced it up on his toes, and threw it off the bus using the first few movements from the Chang Han pattern, Jun Goon. And that's no joke, because I think I had just learned Jun Goon then. And I used it on the dog. The second time was when I was at a park with my daughter. And I just, back then I had been introduced to some Q show. And I had one pressure point routine that I did, practicing at home, that I was going to use for uh, sparring, if I ever did full contact. And I had to use it on the dog. I think I went up the stomach meridian, because I went, you know, I think it was here. Get the dog here, here, bat, bat. Kicked it four times, and that is what it took for it to let go of this other dog. Because what had happened is a small dog had started barking at a big dog. And the big dog decided to show the small dog who was boss. And it grabbed the small dog, started going like that, and was shredding it. was going into shred mode. From what I've read about animals, when they go into shred mode, they're trying to just destroy their target. Now, normally, I probably wouldn't have even cared. Just said, that's nature. I'm staying out of it. But the small dog was owned by a couple of children. It was a five and a six-year-old with a small dog. And there was like an eight-year-old there. And they owned the small dog. The small dog got away from them. And the big dog's owner even had the big dog on a leash. And she was pulling the big dog back. And it was telling it, no, stop. And that still was not enough to stop the big dog once it got excited. The only thing that stopped the big dog was me kicking that big dog. And then after I kicked at it, I went, I yelled at it. I put my key eye into it like I was barking. And it was a, it was enough to shake the dog. I went like, oh! And the dog shook and then it stopped and it bowed his head. And then I had to help them find a small dog and told them to take the small dog to the vet and I told the owner to get the big dog looked at because I kicked it in its vital points. And of course, she looked at me like I was a weirdo, even though she was glad that I stopped the dog fight. So when you look at the video, I'm going to put a link to that video in the description of that dog trainer throwing that dog. As much as people who like dogs don't want to see anything happen to one. You cannot reason with the dog. When it's getting vicious, you tell it, stop, no, no, and it's not. I mean, what else are you going to do? Heck, you can't even reason with people a lot of times. When they get upset, you tell them, stop, no, no. 
That's why sometimes you have to hold people back when they get upset. And we consider ourselves to be more intelligent than the animals. So if the dog is upset and a dog could hurt a person, what, what, what else can be done? There's, there's nothing else that can really be done. So I got a few other videos. I know I got one, I think, called Dog Form Wanyo. When I talk about how you can use the opening moves for the pattern Wanyo to hold a dog. So as martial artists, there are going to be times when we can use our skills to not just, you know, stop out of control people, but we can use them on animals. So far, I've only used my skills on dogs because some people can't control their dogs or the dogs may get out of control because we don't live in a perfect world. And for the record, I went and I did some reading up on the dog that got thrown. And it was a shoulder throw. In judo, it's called uh, Sewe Nagi. It was probably Ipon Sewe Nagi. From what I read, the dog's okay. But that's not going to stop the hate mail on that dog handler. Because people are not going to like the idea of him throwing that dog. So, just remember people. We can't, we can't, we can't control other people who can be reasoned with, let alone animals. So, since we live in a world that's imperfect, and sometimes you have to resort to force instead of violence. If you want to be able, if you want to be a peacemaker, you know, bless a lot of peacemakers. If you want to be a peacemaker, you should enroll in martial arts class. So here comes my spiel. If you're near me, come to one of mine. If not, just go take a class from someone who's reputable. But if you want to come to one of my classes, remember you can come and take my class for a lesson of tank of gas. Learn to kick, punch, and throw Cecil Ryu Taekwondo. Peace.